Hi everyone and welcome to this video. If you have been tormented by the error that is showing on my screen now when uh, you're maybe trying to migrate or to uh, move your instance to production, an error that says something like uh, nginx uh, unknown log format main and then you are told that the configuration file here has an issue and the tests have failed then don't worry this is the reason i am doing this video and i'm hopeful that this is going to sort your issue so this is something that is caused by a wrong format here the log format is wrong i have already written a blog post about it i can show you about uh, i can show you that it's on my blog kurutikarani.com and uh, uh, the title is unknown log format main so if you are maybe on the home page uh, depending on when you are reading this of course uh, this uh, time of the recording uh, this video this is the first item here but of course it's not going to always remain here so if maybe you come and it's not uh, the first item here depending on when you come you can always search uh, using this icon here and just likewise you can search anything on my blog here so you can just click on this and then you start typing uh, something like uh, unknown log format and when you enter it's going to search that for you and of course you can see now the first item that you're getting here is our article so clicking on it is going to open that article for you so i have explained to you what exactly that means you can go ahead and read that slowly and then here i've given you the code that is supposed to go and solve that problem and I have also to, uh, instructed you here where you can you are supposed to place this code. Now I have also down here provided an, uh, a working nginx file because of course the problem is with nginx uh, setup file. And I have provided you a working nginx uh, file here. So this is the piece of code that is supposed to set the log format and therefore this is going to solve your problem. Now, other than that, I am also going to show you on the terminal here how you can do that. So let me first of all go to my bench user. So uh, my bench user is called Frappe, or oh, I can make this a little bit larger. So I just did sudo su Frappe, and then I provided my password, and now I'm logged in as a Frappe user. And then here I'm just supposed to go to etc. So this is what you, what you are supposed to do. And then you go to nginx so when you list this you're going to see that nginx.conf is one of the files that is here and now for you can do sudo nano and then you provide nginx.conf uh, i'm going to provide my password and now when you scroll down here you're going to find that there is this http uh, object and then down 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 what you're supposed to do uh, let me show you from my guide here is you just get an area inside this HTTP, all right? Inside that HTTP item, get an area just somewhere here, maybe below the default uh, default type uh, or somewhere just uh, uh, above the settings or wherever you want to place it here and paste this piece of code. So when you are here, you can uh, select an area like uh, even here, maybe you just come around here and then you can do some, uh, you can create some space here and then you go ahead and paste your piece of code. So you can copy that from my blog here like that. And then you bring it here and you paste it. And this way, this is supposed to sort your problem. And then you're of course going to go ahead and save it by doing control O and then control X. Of course, when you do control O, it's going to ask you whether you want to save, click on enter. And then you do control x and that is going to save your changes all right perfect that is it and i hope that the video was helpful and also the article here don't forget to like my uh, vi youtube video and also subscribe so that you don't miss on videos that i provide now other information that i may provide you is that uh, i am now part of a company that offers erp next uh, services it's called Upeosoft. So if you have a requirement from simple installation to complicated uh, integrations, you can reach us. Uh, uh, of course, some of the things we are going to do them, we are even going to help you. Our team is going to help you to do them. And then there are some of those that we may need to charge you something so that, of course, uh, if it takes a lot of our time, we are going to charge you for that. So don't get stuck. Reach us at Upeosoft. This is our website. 
you can go to the form and uh, write to us uh, it's taking a lot of time to load not sure why uh, but of course you can also look for Upeosoft online and uh, it's my internet that is very slow here Upeosoft if you look at Upeosoft on Google the first link that you're going to get here is the company that I'm talking about and this is it and there you go you can basically ask us any question here about ERP next or uh, Frappe framework and we are going to answer you and hopefully help you also uh, uh, complete your project thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video